Good. Okay, Lynn, I have um, a follow-up question along the same lines, uh, which is the stupidity around this fiscal cliff. Uh, so we know the 112th Congress passed, kicked the can down the road, so to speak, to the 113th on this and postponed the whole uh, voting on the fiscal cliff uh, for a couple of months, which can coincide with the, uh, the debt ceiling. And what you referenced earlier in, your, in, in what you said in your opening remarks with this built-in threat to humanity around a thinking around the green policy, and this has been indoctrinated into the culture, into the schools, and I would say that the same holds with this idea of monetarism as well. And as the debate comes up with the fiscal cliff and whatnot, uh, the problem is that you have this idea of practicality that, well... We hate to make these cuts, but it has to be done in order to uh, try and solve the economic problem, which is really a problem in number one in thinking. But it's also the wrong fight because we are on the verge of a hyperinflationary breakout uh, throughout the transatlantic community as a whole, which requires Glass-Steagall. So if you could speak to this um, problem in the thinking uh, around monetarism and this whole debate, the fallacy of it. Well, the problem is largely entirely fictitious. What Bernanke is doing is, is, has to be written off because there's no, there's no payment for it. There's never a repayment. So how can you build up debt upon debt when it can never be repaid? What value has a debt that can never be repaid? And it will only kill the people who try to use it. The every, most of Wall Street, practically the entire Wall Street and similar kinds of institutions across the transatlantic region in particular are hopelessly bankrupt. Now what happens in a bankruptcy when you try to eliminate a bankruptcy? What you have to do is learn what you're going to write off. I can tell you that most of what Bernanke represents in his hyperinflationary game will have to be written off. If you, don't, if you don't write it off, it will write you off. You have to choose between which, what's going to get written off, you or, the, or this play money, which is being put up by Bernanke. This is a fraud. It is not an honest obligation. When institutions of government, through the power they have, impose upon us a nation a debt which is fraudulent. Do you pay it? Do you, are you kind enough not to imprison the people who you punish for that? Now, if you don't accept that, you're dead.